I knew that Shea was going to try to take the limelight, so I made sure, you know, I wore the Superman T-shirt and make sure that people can see that uh, I'm the real Superman in the Survivor, not the Shea. Hello, a bit of a greedy guy, eh, in front of the, the camera. He um, always wants to take the spotlight. She's just kind of like undercover, like an invisible woman. He just can't handle someone else being on camera by themselves. <laughs> Welcome back to Fresh, you beautiful Bali peoples. I'm Sala Tiatia. I'm Shana Tapusoa, and this is our world on Survivor New Zealand. She said, Oh, there ain't no rest for the wicked. Money don't grow on trees. I got bills to pay, I got mouths to feed. There ain't nothing in this world for free. I applied for Survivor because applications for The Bachelor closed. You would have been a great bachelor. <laughs> What did you do before Survivor? Oh, I'm a manager of an alternative education school uh, in Christchurch. I was traveling the world with my husband, <sighs> and um, that went with all my money, and I came back unemployed, <laughs> broke. <laughs> Welcome to Nukaragua, and New Zealand's first ever Survivor. How did you feel when you first got to Nicaragua? Uh, I was scared, to be honest. Mm. I saw the group of people that we were going out with, and I was like, hmm, scanning for people that I thought I'd immediately connect with, and you were one of them, yeah. and you were the only one. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. And I was shot. He's a fellow brown person. I love you. <laughs> Sala and Shayna, you're looking pretty stoked. How are you yeah. feeling about your new tribe? I've got my brother from another mother over here, which I'm really happy yeah. about. Boy, if you want to go, I would not mind. But I'm not the kind of drum you play one time. What are your best skills that you bring into Survivor? I like to make friends. I don't know if that's a skill, but that was something that I thought might come in handy on the show. Um... Oh my gosh, is that all the skills I have? <laughs> it's quite embarrassing. <laughs> What's your skills, Mr. Fia Boko over here? Now watch me whip. <laughs> no, no. Watch me nanny. <laughs> I'm probably the only Samoan <laughs> in all of the world that does not know how to open a coconut, let alone climb a coconut tree. I don't even know how to catch a fish, let alone cook it. So I'm probably the only Samoan that looks like he can do anything. It's absolutely useless. I don't think being raised in Ranui, Auckland will help me on the island. <laughs> You know, if they want to play those games, I will be pissed off, all right? Yeah. If you want to stand on my toes, I'll come back with a vengeance. So what's harder for you, working as a youth worker or working with all the different personalities on Survivor? Ooh. I've, I've worked with a lot of young people for a long, a long time, and you know, a lot of them are quite, you know, hard, and I think that they will probably prepare me to work with multiple personalities. Salah, do you think you can play this game with honour to the end? I don't know, now we. What's the, the thing that you miss the most? My family, you know, my husband, my nephews, and um, my mum, Sapasui. Oh. Man. Yeah, yeah, definitely um, miss uh, my Māori queen and my six heartbeats, my, my beautiful children, all six of them. Everything is ultimately just going to get us to the end. Same thing. And so far, so good, yeah? So far, so good. So who's your favourite person on Survivor? Oh, mm. I have no doubt. Um, the camera girl was very nice. Start again? Yeah, bro. <laughs> try it again, bro, yeah, yeah, try yeah. it again. Yeah, straight up, it was, it was you, Shane. <laughs> okay. What can I say except you're welcome?